And we can start off the tour by everyone waving to the left-hand side of the bus and say hello and goodbye to Barry Manilow. From 60 to 80 miles an hour through that pass. So the further south you are, the more blockage you get from the mountain and therefore more desirable to live. While you could be experiencing zero to five mile per hour winds in South Palm Springs, it could be blowing at 50, 60, and 70 miles an hour in North Palm Springs. About halfway up the mountain, you're gonna see a house with a very large black domed roof. That is the Bob Hope House. You will get a really great view once we turn onto Palm Canyon, but you can see it dotted through the trees as we drive along. completed in 1979 by Bob Hope and his wife Dolores. The house is 23,600 square feet. Just a small desert getaway. But Bob Hope and his wife actually did not live in that house. They had another house down in the valley in Palm Springs and used that home mainly for parties and fundraisers. While the house looks enormous, the actual house is only a crescent-shaped moon underneath that very large roof structure. The rest of that area are outdoor patios and terraces with a 30-foot oculus in the center of the roof open to the elements. A famous neighbor to the Bob Hope house was Suzanne Summers, but she sold her house a couple years ago, most notably when she was on a Zoom call and some random hiker just walked in her living room. We are currently on Highway 111, which was the original highway that connected Los Angeles to Phoenix. So everyone traveling would have to drive through the Coachella Valley. Now we have the I-10 extension, so you don't have all the stoplights. to the Bob Hope House is coming up on our right hand side. Now you can make it about halfway up the mountain and you will get some spectacular views, but you wouldn't be getting any further than that as it is gated. the land was divided and they are still the largest landowner in the Coachella Valley with over 6,700 acres. The facts that I know is coming up on the right you're going to see a very large church. That church originally was a nightclub wow. and it was called Inferno. <laughs> Completely, 100%. And we are now in Cathedral City. 
If you're looking for the closest Trader Joe's or Target to the resort, it is on our left. actually was home to several celebrities, including Frank Sinatra and Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. Some other celebrities that have lived in the Coachella Valley or currently live in the Coachella Valley are Zsa Zsa Gabor, Elvis, Barry Manilow, Liberace, Marilyn Monroe, Nat King Cole, Dean Martin, Kirk Douglas, Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, Elizabeth Taylor, Frank Sinatra, Bob Hope, Bing Crosby, Truman Capote, Cary Grant, Sia, and Rice. The Kardashians just bought houses here, and Miley Cyrus has a house here. One of the main reasons the Coachella Valley was so popular, popular with celebrities, back in the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, a lot, of, uh, a lot of movie production companies in LA had contracts with their actors saying that they needed to be able to be recalled to the set within two hours. Well, L LA being only an hour and a half away from this little oasis in the desert, made it a perfect spot for them to get away out of the hectic life of LA and just chill out in Palm Springs. And that is how we got so many of those celebrities during the golden age of movie, television, and music to live here in the Coachella Valley. to Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz.
little trip today. A little fun fact about Palm Desert is Palm Desert outlawed drive throughs So you will see fast food restaurants, but you will not see the drive through fact about Palm Desert, it is the most populated city in the Coachella Valley, and it is literally the midway point between Coachella and Palm Springs. Here in Palm Desert, we do have the only indoor shopping mall in the Coachella Valley, up on our left. And on our right is El Paseo. If you were to take that street about half a mile, you would see what we regard as the Rodeo Drive of the desert. It is loaded with high-end shopping, dining, and whatnot, so lots of art stores. So if you are looking to do some heavy window shopping, I would definitely recommend El Paseo.
you will be arriving momentarily to dinner. When you checked in, I did give you a slip of paper that had a table number on it. That table is for you when you enter the restaurant. There is a photo booth set up if you would like to take some selfies and whatnot, but I would encourage everyone to please find their seat quickly. That way the servers can get all of our orders in. You will notice on the table, there are going to be some menus for you. All you need to do is select the main entree that you would like and the servers will come and get your drink orders and take your food orders and get them processed. Guys, if there's any questions, please feel free. I will be there walking around. Just let me know if you need anything. And I hope you guys have a fun time at dinner and playing some of our great casino games. The other thing you're going to notice on your table is you will have a blue poker chip. That poker chip is what you will take up to the casino games when they open and the dealers will give you a stack of chips in exchange for your one single blue chip. And at the end of the night, whichever players have made the most money may be getting a Visa gift card. No cheating. I see you. All of you. No combining money. But I want you guys to have fun. Please remember there is a specialty cocktail that they make us every night. It is called the Painkiller and it is amazing. degree turn as it ascends the mountain giving you the best advantages for views there are a couple restaurants up there if you do get peckish and if you happen to visit us in winter you could be down in palm springs in the pool in a nice 85 degrees and then take the tram to the top and build snowmen the shuttle leaves the palm canyon resort at 7 30 a.m from the lobby Not 7.32, <laughs> Other events you guys might want to look at is we have the aerial tramway. You can go horseback riding just down the street from the resort. There are the red Jeep tours that you can take for the desert or even celebrity homes. There's the Palm Springs Air Museum where you can go and actually get in World War II military aircraft, including a stealth bomber that they have there now. You can also take a biplane ride if you're feeling gutsy. And then, of course, going downtown, there's the Forever Marilyn statue. It's a 30-foot Marilyn Monroe statue in her seven years itch pose. That is located directly in front of the Palm Springs Art Museum at Palm Canyon and Art Museum Way. Also downtown at La Plaza and Palm Canyon, you will see the bronze statue of Sonny Bono, of course married to Cher, but also served as the mayor of Palm Springs. His bronze statue is sitting on the fountain right out in front on the street. While you're downtown, we do have our own Star Walk for all the celebrities that have lived and passed in Palm Springs. And there is always something to do downtown if you are going to be here Anytime throughout the week, there are a number of activities going on, so just make sure to visit visitpalmsprings.org and it will list everything fun to do while you're here visiting with us. Thank you guys. Enjoy the rest of your ride back to the resort, and I'll talk to you soon. Really wonderful job of lighting all the palm trees on the road that takes you up the mountain. Kind of like lighting your way, but just remember you only get about halfway up the mountain but the view's worth it.
too close to the resort to you, no worries. In the Coachella Valley, we have 117 golf courses for you to choose from. 